Okay, so Blaine with Mud Customs again. Uh, Art Captain back at it. This time they sent us the uh, Cut 55 Pro Lux. My knowledge, this is the newest uh, plasma machine they make. The Cut 55 Pro has been out for a while, but I feel like we might be the first ones to get the Pro Lux. So let's just see what's going on in here. <laughs> So I'm gonna be honest with you, I've already used this unit. I was too excited, I had to have it. I used it just now on the Bronco filming. So it's a reverse unveiling, which would be a reveiling? I don't know, whatever whatever backwards is of that. I used to work for a welding company that built equipment just like this. I've 25 years of my life, building plasma machines, building plasma torch heads, welding machines. And when I see something new I haven't seen before, I kind of geek out. And when I pulled this out of the box, I was like, what even is this? I thought it was a t-shirt. It's not. It's something that you use. This is smart. It's lightweight. It's, it's everything you need, all encompassing, and nothing you don't, which is typically 20% of what you buy when you buy a more expensive plasma machine. And it's stupid. We all do it. Uh, everybody wants the newest bells and whistles and you want it in a big briefcase. But the reality is the second you pull it out of that briefcase with all those foam inserts and all that dictation of where it's got to go, and you're not going to put that back together every time you use it. And so what happens is you don't store your product properly. This stores your product properly. I'm not going to get metal shavings in it if it's sitting around the shop. I'm not going to get dust in it. The other units, the unit that I run the uh, plasma table on, it's huge. Uh, it came with a briefcase. I threw it away the day I got it because I'm not going to put a unit that's hardwired into my plasma machine in a case. If it had just a cover, I'd cover it every damn time. Very smart. Impressed with the bag. It's not even a bag. It doesn't have a bottom. It's not even as difficult as a bag. All right, let's set this thing up. Here's your torch, instructions, consumables, stickers, ground clamp, power converter if you need it. 110 or 220 or whatever electricians are supposed to say clean digital display we'll get into that here in a second so ground clamp super simple it's got a male just goes right here twist it it's locked in here's the torch it's lightweight it's got a safety it's got a guide the trigger is two wires only goes one way same thing with the power one thing I'm not impressed with uh, is just the crimp. Uh, I'll probably put a piece of heat shrink over that. It's crimped really well. It just, these things hurt me sometimes. I have no problem working. It just, I don't like the look of it. So I'll put a piece of black shrink, shrink wrap over that for mine. You do what you want. Air, same thing. It's got a, uh, a head. You could use a wrench to tighten it. I don't, I don't think you need to. Your hand tight's probably good on that unless you, have some problems using the machine later. Okay, so it's locked and loaded. That's it, it's that simple. I mean, that was pretty quick and I was talking to you while we did it. So let's set this thing up and let's get to work. Okay, so I got this plugged in, set up, got air to it. Let's talk about the air filters and water separator, the regulator, it's all encompassing. You don't have to worry about if the air line's clean. Um, that's the cooling fan just came on. Clean display. That's 240 volt. It's obviously, it's got 71 pounds of air. I uh, usually run around 45. Click and you hold it, it cuts and it releases when you stop. Or if you want that, if you're doing long pulls, you can click it and it'll run until you're done with your cut. That way you're not wearing out your finger. This is your cut setting. This is for uh, expanded metal or anything you're cutting that will have a straight line and the material has a break in it. I'll get into that here in a little bit. This setting for cleans off rust. From what I understand. All right, let's start with 18 gauge. Should be easy peasy. Any plasma machine should cut that. All right, so here's a piece of 12 gauge. I'm okay, we're looking at a 10 gauge. Okay, so it did push back. I think now's the point where you need to increase the amperage. We've been running on 35 amps, which is nothing. Let's do that. A little more amperage, we're running at 40.
Okay, back to cutting. Uh, minimal dross. That could be air pressure. Nothing to deal with. That would knock right off if you're building something. Okay, so seven gauge. I'm gonna keep it at 40 amps and see if it cuts well. Nice, somewhat dirty piece of quarter inch. It's got rust scale on it. Probably increase the voltage. So I'm gonna do, uh, crank it up to 45 amps. No problem at all. That's three eight at fifty amps. Still not its max. Let's cut another piece so it's not a one hit wonder. Let's eat into that duty cycle, see how she likes it. Let's cut another piece. It's three eighths, folks. I mean, it's a handheld plasma cutter. I mean, all that dross will knock off with a hammer. Okay, we're still on it with the Cut 55 Pro Lux from Art Captain, the newest plasma cutter they make. I've got a piece of rusted uh, expanded metal, or I don't even know what you call this. I guess it's expand. It's the uh, it's got the grates in it. People make smokers out of them and whatever. I'm gonna set it on the setting for interrupted cuts. I'm not sure what they call it, but we're gonna see what kind of difference that makes. All right, you scrappers, go get you an art captain. It's got aluminum. Okay, so I've got the plasma cutter set on the uh, setting for cleaning rust. Let's see how this works. Supposedly supposed to hold it at an angle with the guide. Holy crap. That actually worked. It took off the rust, but didn't cut the metal. I'm sure you still hear the machine running. Uh, I've been filming these clips for about an hour, hour and a half now. Uh, I wanna to talk to you about duty cycle. Duty cycle on a machine like this is the time you can actually use it at its capacity. So uh, typically a handheld plasma machine runs at about 35 to 40% duty cycle. And what that means is if, it's, if a unit has a 40% duty cycle, in a 10 minute span, you can use it for four minutes and it needs to cool off for six. Uh, that can get frustrating if you're trying to use a handheld machine to do multiple jobs. Um, this unit has a 60% duty cycle, which for a handheld unit, that's elite. You're not gonna see too many handheld units portable that have a 60% duty cycle. So if you're using this in a 10 minute window at its full capacity, it can operate for six minutes. It needs four minutes to cool off to stay efficient. Um, you can get to 100% duty cycle with a machine, but you're talking about $9,000 torch heads. You're talking about big industrial machines that are bigger than this building. Uh, cooling finally shut off. So I stopped using it about 10 minutes ago. The unit is phenomenal. It's got a good duty cycle, which is not a common metric in a handheld plasma machine. It has Bluetooth connectability for some reason. If you connect to the Art Captain app, I haven't got into that. I don't know that I will. It does have a strap that I threw away. I'm not a strap guy. It's, I'm not going to use it. The handle's fine for me. Uh, it came with airline. 
I didn't need it. I threw it away. Uh, I've got airline shop air that's clean. It doesn't matter that it's clean because this has a, a, a regulator and a filter. The only downfall I had was I don't like the wire connector on the power post, but that's just a personal preference of mine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not like it's going to be stored out in the rain. And this uh, god, I got kind of silly and melted it. That's 100% my fault. I actually had this on backwards. I didn't read the instructions. So for the first half of the video, if you look at it, I'm actually fighting this. So that little bend there makes a big difference. It throws the geometry off of it. I feel like this is catered to those who haven't used a plasma cutter and don't have a feel yet for how far away from metal it should be. Uh, it's a good tool. I'm gonna, when I order consumables, I'm gonna order a new one because I like it. Uh, once I spun it around and used it correctly, it worked great, even with the bends in it. I kind of bent it back, but full disclosure, I'm an idiot. Read your directions, kids. The consumables, they're consumables. You're gonna eat them. Uh, you'll eat them at first, especially when you're trying to get the feel of a plasma machine if you haven't used one before. So my suggestion, if you do buy one of these, go ahead and buy a pack of consumables. I don't know what they cost, but they can't be that expensive. Again, this is a Cut 55 Pro Lux from Art Captain. It's a phenomenal machine. The helmets are great. The gloves are great. I, you know, it's silly to talk about gloves. Gloves are really great. Like you can really use your fingers. I was using them all day yesterday just to fabricate metal, cut metal, shear it. You know, I never had to take the gloves off. Don't confuse low price for poor quality. That's not the case. I think this unit's like right under $320. Uh, it might be even lower than that, 309. Art Captain is having an autumn promotion that starts the 12th of this month. I don't know if, when you're watching this. Um, incredible savings there. And then I will put my own Art Captain link in the description of this video. Click on that and you'll save even more money. They've been really good to us. I want to be really good to them. That being said, I'm not going to tell you something's good if it's not. I've told you the things I don't like about it. They're very slim. No reason to not buy one. Phenomenal unit.